to our assembly, I considered that the fact that Jesus, he is seen as uh, in Revelation opening chapter, which is a new, unique perspective for, for the, the apostle to start this letter. He, he views it with Jesus in the midst of who, who was one who walked in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. He is, his, his starts, this is, the kind, this is the setting by which this letter opens, that Jesus is the one who walks among the churches. I don't know if that's plural there. I assume it is plural. But the fact is that Jesus walks among the people of God. He walks among his brethren. Brother, all the time Jesus walks among his brethren. He walks in judgment. He walks in instruction. You can see him walking as a great shepherd of the people of God. He walks among the brethren. Amen. This is a good thing. A lot of people, they, they might think, ooh, Jesus walking amongst us. But this is really a good thing, see, brother, because what he's doing, he's walking in our midst to our advantage. We're going to profit, brother, when we come together, particularly we come together because Jesus, he is here with us. And he's, of course, he's confirms this. He affirms this by stating in other places where two or more gather in my name. Hey, I am there also. So we have that. Jesus walks among the body of Christ. I like to think of it collectively this morning because he's here walking among us. But, brethren, he, he is among the body even when we're not able to be together. Jesus is walking with you, you see. And uh, so it, it, this is a, a consideration. Now, there's many things that can be gained for the fact that Jesus is walking among us, you know. One thing in particular, though, is that Jesus is walking as, as, a, as a one who teaches, one who is full of instruction. Now, uh, Jesus, is, we know that he, he, we know these things because we've been told these things, that there, there's a certain body of instruction. There's a certain body of, uh, from which Jesus draws his teaching from. He don't say anything that the Father hasn't said. I, I don't, I'm not going to talk about anything that the Father hasn't given me to talk about. That's what he told us. So you can count on this, what Jesus is teaching and telling us. This is what the Father wants us to know. So he's not going to deviate from that. And we don't want to either. We don't. We don't really. We want to stay on track with what the Scripture said and everything. So we know that Jesus is really opening up what the Father has given to him. So we have it right here. You see, so we know that what... Jesus is opening up to us in the manner in which he chooses to do it. He uses the body of Christ to do this. He, he picks, he, he does like he wants to, and he, he instructs us in this way. And he uses the word of God, Amen. the word of God. Now, with that, I wanted to just kind of focus on the 15th chapter of Romans. That's, Paul wraps up this, uh, this letter here. Toward the end, he has some uh, final things to say. And uh, I wanted to read this verse real quick to you. What For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yeah. Now, you know, do you know what Paul was talking about before this? He was talking about... Uh, uh, acknowledging our brethren who are, who are with us and being sensitive to the brethren because we're all walking by faith. And he, 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 he inserts this. And, it, you know, you, you wonder when you read this verse, you wonder why it's, it's kind of like it's an odd, really, actually. At, at first it may appear to be odd that Paul would insert this scripture at this point. And, uh, and, and, and <clears throat> the reason that uh, I bring this up is because um, Jesus, in, in this same passage, Paul is encouraging the brethren to be like-minded one to another. Uh, that uh, And things pertaining to God, let's be like-minded one to another according to our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, today we hear a lot about people are different. We've heard this for decades. It's been building steam for a long time. People are different. People are, are not the same. They, they, have special, they have different needs, and we need to consider and, and honor the differences of, 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 of people. And all. this is the talk of the world. Of course, the church has picked this up. Yeah. And, they, uh, and so they've centered their teaching and their, all, this, all these things around this kind of thinking that we're supposed to recognize one another, that uh, we have different needs. And, and that sounds kind of good at, at first, you know, but then the, really the conclusion to see is that uh, – this has uh, uh, opened the door for all, all the kind of things that's not been good. Uh, and all our differences, opinion on, 
of, of brethren being different, we want to remember what Paul said here, that we want to be like-minded and one to another. And this fits perfectly with what Paul is saying because, see, he's going to use an example here of this scripture that I just read. He's going to, he's going to teach us something about Jesus Christ. He's going to use later in the, in the next uh, verse that he's going to talk about Jesus. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. That's what he says. And then he says, for even Christ pleased not himself but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. Now, Paul was able to pull this scripture out of the Old Testament scriptures that he knew so well, and he'd make the right application to Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And uh, you might think he took it out of context there because it, it did, but Paul knew who this was about, yeah. and he makes the right application. He talks about how the, the, he uses the example of Jesus Christ, who is King of King and Lord of Lords, and he, he is the, he is the only potentate, you see. But he didn't, he didn't stop one second to consider what, it, what needed to be done to edify his brother and police father. He didn't hesitate one moment. And so he did what he needed to do. And so he uses this as an example right, right after the scripture I read. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Yeah. This falls in line with this previous chapter and every, everything he said about being like-minded one to another and consider our brother. In other words, Paul is showing that through this, we should be able to do this. Yeah. You see, we should be able to do like the Lord said. We should be able to take these scriptures and, and make the right application yeah. in our own lives. Amen. Rightly, and Paul is rightly dividing the word of God. Mm-hmm. And, and, and uh, this is not something, you know, that uh, just Paul could do or in just like a select group uh-huh. could do. All the brethren have been given this right to read these scriptures and be taught by them and, and re- receive instruction. You should be able to make the right applications. Uh, the people of God, all the people of God, I am, we all need in need of teaching. Mm-hmm. And the scriptures teach us. It's a marvelous thing uh, the way God has done this and he has prescribed this thing. And the way the uh, the way the ministry of the Spirit walk, works among us, and he he teaches the saints, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's it's by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That's how we receive our instruction. Yeah. We're talking about the Scriptures, the very Word of God, <laughs> as is is the source and the bulk of our teaching. We uh, we advantage one another when we can we can uh, we can speak the things of God. And we can, we can share them and open them because we, it's, it's through this ministry, it's through this way that we're able to learn. Uh, for so long, we've been, we've, been, uh, we've been limited, and it's been actually a hindrance that one man would try to be the teacher and the preacher and all these things when actually he wasn't able to, to, to minister to all the body of Christ. So, so now that we see that all, all the body ministers to one another is what you say and what I say and what the other brethren say is, it works together to educate us in the thanks of God. Amen. All the saints should be doing, be, be able to do this. It's, that's the way it, the scriptures teach us. Uh, Paul doesn't say anything here in this particular scripture about being teachers. He talks about us be learning, but we learn in, in a place maybe like in Hebrews five that the purpose of learning and and being it's so that we can be teachers. Matter of fact, the the uh, the admonition there. And it kind of like a rebuke, actually, was that, well, by now, you've been able to be teachers, you know. So you, you should have been, in other words, you should have been learning and so that you could teach. And so he, he, he wants it, but you've got to be taught again. So we, we, uh, we gather around this morning, and it's, I prepared this. And we want to have an awareness, you know, that actually it's good to be here and to be with the brothers. So there's a many, 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 many things to benefit from, but... Primarily, we want to we want to learn these scriptures. I'm talking to all everybody. I'm talking about little ones, and I'm talking about the ones that's almost teenagers, ones that's going to be, ones that are young adults and grown folks. We can learn yeah. from these things from scripture. And I'll tell you, you know, you know the scriptures, and you can do something like Paul does. A very uh, very common thing. He, if you can reach back and you can make an application to scripture something and see something, boy, doesn't this fill you full of joy yeah. and, and confidence and assurance in the things of God. So this morning, be aware that when the brethren get up, that you, 
if you'll if you'll make yourself available and apply yourself, why well, you you'll learn something this morning. And you know, we get up here and we we really we try to everybody. We try to stir the thinking of the brother. We really try to, what we say, we really try to shake some sense into people. Not necessarily people here, but anybody who might hear. Well, by what we say, we try to shake some sense into everyone about the things of God and, and maybe wake some people up or just prod some folks along or whatever. But uh, we, we won't do it by getting up here most of the time and saying something brand new you never heard, but it's the, maybe the way we can say it sometimes will, be, will provoke you. In a, in a certain way. So, you know, I, I wanted to bring this to your attention this morning that it's a, a marvelous consideration several times in the scriptures that we learned that the, 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 the scriptures are the inspired word of God and they've been given to make us what we need to be.